What is up you guys? Today we had a really good day. I ended up closing out over about $11,000 and I did take some positions on Tesla, which we're going to talk about. I did go over my SMCI short, which I have a full standalone video that is coming out probably after this. I don't know in what order they're going to be posted, but I did take a $100,000 short position on SMCI. I do not recommend it. I do not think that you guys should go ahead and do it. I specifically said that I think it's a pretty bad idea for anybody who cannot afford the type of risk that we can take. Now, we're going to talk about Tesla and we're going to talk about the positions that we are currently holding. At this point, I'm holding some calls on Tesla for March and April. I was looking at, and if you guys aren't following me on X, you need to be following me on X because I post all these trades for Tesla over there in real time, as well as SMCI and NVIDIA recently. But what we were looking for in the past couple of days has been this inverted head and shoulders breakout, which we ended up getting. But what we were watching in the past two days was this potential retracement back down to Fibonacci support, hit that optimal trade entry right there at 192, 191.22. And what we've been watching for is this potential bounce back up to sweep a higher high and move its way somewhere into 200, potentially 202, and 207 was like the absolute max that I was looking at. Now, I posted on X saying that if we were able to push up into $200 going to close, that I was going to go ahead and take my profit on my March calls and hold on to my April calls. I didn't end up you know, taking my profits on that point. I actually decided that I wasn't going to because I wanted to see if we can get another leg up. But these are the calls that I'm currently holding on to. I opened these yesterday. You can see here 221 at 1540. And these are calls that are expiring on March 1st, 2022, $195 calls. So they're expiring next Friday. And you can see too that if we just kind of zoom out, that's a one minute chart. So we did go into a day that this is where we ended up filling right on this day you can see that's where the fill was so i'm expecting us to see this push back up into 204 to sweep and take out this high we still have this inverted head and shoulders in play and we have bounced off of this neckline to damn near perfection right if i were to go and and draw this level out you can see that we bounced right off that neckline very very nicely and so what i'm expecting over the next couple of days as we've already said is to see this gap fill here push this higher leg up into 205. And from there, max, I think that we'll see is probably a move up to 220 in the next couple of weeks. I still own 400 shares long term. I do still think that we will see this continued break up, but I will definitely be looking to maybe throw a hedge in place or potentially look at a short position around 230 up to 240. But I do believe that we will probably see this rally back up at least to 235. And the way that we get this, you know, that we find these targets, because a lot of people ask me this, is that we take our swing high, which would be this most recent swing high point here at 264.94. And you're going to see that this, first of all, is going to be an order block right there. And then we take our swing low here, which is going to be, once again, another order block. And all we do is we take our fib from that swing high, drag down to the swing low, pull all the way out. And what we're looking for is a retracement at least back to equilibrium, which is this 50% level. But really what we're looking for is the push into what I call the golden zone, or really up to like that 0.786 to 0.618. This is that range, which we should see a bit of rejection. Now, the other thing too, is if we actually throw up, let's do volume profile or volume, volume by price. I actually have my volume by price already on my screen. I just don't run indicators most of the time because I really feel that in most cases you don't need them. They're gonna usually just be in your way, especially once you can identify most of this by eye, it just makes things a lot easier. But look at this. If we take a look, you're going to see that all of this volume, all these bars on the right side of your screen, let me get rid of everything. These bars are going to show you at what price volume is coming in and out. So instead of those horizontal bars, the vertical bars, I mean, at the bottom of your screen, which is just going to show you how many shares were traded, this is actually going to go over at the, what levels we are seeing buying and selling, specifically from back here in June of 2023. Now, the main thing that I want you to notice is that there's a wide section basically from 234 up to 260. So what this means is that most of the volume within the past year and a half, two years has been sitting between this level. We also have another level at 220 down to 209. 
And then we have a final small level, which is kind of where we're finding the support level at about 192 to 180. So it's through these thin areas of volume on the volume profile that we tend to see very aggressive moves and very quick moves. For instance, you know, 12% gap down on earnings. For instance, last time, before that, an 8% move followed by a 13% move to the upside. So it's in these thin areas of volume that we tend to get these very aggressive runs. And that's what we're looking for. We don't want to be trading in this consolidation zone. We really want to be trading in the expansion zone. And most of these expansions are going to come in these thin areas of volume. So I do believe that we will probably see Tesla continue to move its way up to 210 going into the next couple of weeks. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to trade with me every single day, get access to all of my trades, everything that you guys see here, my trading dashboard, my journal, and you get access to, which is pretty dope, to all of our trading bots, which I don't even post about here, but we have over 50 trading bots over on our Discord community that are fully automated. They go off of the same exact strategy, the same exact script that I trade off every day and that I've been trading based off of for the past nine years. So if you want to follow that, if you want to become part of the team, check out the second link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.